Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the second part of how to make a campaign in Age of Mythology. Uh, today we're go going to cover some more advanced features. So last time we created a campaign. It was composed of two scenarios and it wasn't really that professional. So as you saw, the AOM campaign has over 500 lines and it's uh, a bit professional. We have over 10 lines. So it isn't really that much professional so now we're going to make it a bit more professional so if you see the main campaign and if you select the level scratching the surface at the right of the screen there will be uh, the uh, a map displaying greece and if you're uh, selecting the level north there will be a map displaying the north side. so how to do this map it's called a background so to do this you go to the main campaign and copy the piece of code that I told you last time that it was useless. This one. From the line 2 to the line 58. You must copy it. And paste it as it is. I, and what this does, it's an import all the backgrounds from the te texture file folder in the... In the Age of Mythology. So it imports all the background and you have to do to copy this piece of code to be able to select a specific background for your level. Uh, it is not a very essential. As you saw, we, you can create a campaign without, without it. But if you want to make it professional, you'll have to copy it. And just a quick note, there is two types of Atlantis. There is the Atlantis in the main campaign and there is the new Atlantis in the expert campaign. It differs a bit, but you can choose whatever you want. Now, uh, to be able to... I think we forgot one line. So, we forgot the closing tag. And you saw here there is a opening tag and a closing tag. And it's very important to finish with them. Now, we must add the background. To add it, after the find name, you, you type background set equal between brackets and the background uh, set name that you want. So there is Egypt, Atlantis, Greece, and Northlands. You write, for example, the first level I wanted it to, uh, to be in the Northlands. And the second level I wanted it to be in Egypt. So this is how you do it. And the level will be, in uh, the background of the level will be as we type here. I chose pro, pro, uh, not plus plus because it it's uh, writes the word for you, so it's a coding software and it's uh, very professional. So that's why I chose to install it, and you save. Now for the stickers, if you see the level C, for example, there is a sticker of agents. If you see the level uh, North, there is a trigger of a Herser hero. So there are stickers. How to do them? Uh, they're, in, they're all in a, in a folder uh, called textures and you can't see them uh, you have to do a specific thing to see them but you can see them here in the main campaign for example and they're called overlay so the stickers here are called overlay so there is the overlay offset uh, code so you copy it as it is for example I want Ajax so I search here why there is Ajax? In the, it's in the level 3, so it's called... In, no, it's the level 3. I was a wall of Troy. I'm mistaken. The level 5 there is Ajax. So it's called just enough rope. You copy it. Uh, I did something wrong. You copy it. And... You paste it here. And what it will do, it will... Uh, it will uh, let uh, it will let you have a sticker of Ajax with a red point. The red point means the level isn't finished yet, and the blue point means the level is finished. And it will in certain locations. So the first overlay of set it means the coordinates of the map. I really don't uh, know very well what are the coordinates, but I think the first one is for height and the second one is for uh, width. But I'm not very sure of that. And the size is the size of, our, of your image. It's cool, you can make your image bigger, smaller. It doesn't really matter. 
but you're limited to to uh, to to a limited amount of uh, stickers or overlay if you want and there is also arrows for example the hero goes from one place to another in the same greek or or egypt or north so there is arrows you can also use them but it's very complicated to use them you have to try a lot so to be able to use them yeah so that's it for the stickers now if you want to see all the stickers you have to do something so you download an application called AOMED so it must be somewhere here no it's on my down it's in my downloads i'm sure so i just downloaded it i'll put a link in the description to it so it's called AOMED it's here and you open it you click run and uh, it's an application that let you open the images of Age of Mythology because all the images of Age of Mythology are uh, uh, full, uh, uh, have a past type uh, called .ddt and the images now have PNG or BMP so they're very uh, old images and to be able to use them you must use this uh, uh, this application, the AOMED and it's very useful so now, if you want to open uh, the IOM textures, you have to create a new folder. Name it whatever you want. I name it, for example, IOM. I already did this before the video, but I read with IOM folder, for example. Uh, you press set, uh, set input data file. You go to my computer. Uh, program files. Uh, Age of Storage the Titans. Uh, textures. And you open the text. Texture.bar is for the Age of Mythology. Normal one and texture two for the dot bar is the texture of Age of Tories the Titans. So I'll open the texture two the dot bar and you put folder to extract into and you choose the one of the desktop. So you click desktop and you choose the IOM folder, for example, and you press read data file. It will load a window that will uh, do some work and it will extract every file into this folder. So you sh you should be able to see every image of of the one you can select. There are a lot, but uh, not every one work. You you must try to see which one would work. And yeah, so that's it. And the file must be .ddt. If it's anything else, it won't work. So you can't really save a custom file. But if you do, if you want to save a custom file for your overlay. You have to do the following. So I won't wait for it to load because I already have it load. So it's here. Yeah. So here you press a new E, and everything I think a new E you can use it for your textures, as you can see. Yeah. And anything else. So. Now, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how to convert an image uh, to .bmp so you would be able to use it. It's simple. So, you open IOMED. So, now I'll open IOMED. takes a bit of time. Oh, it didn't open. It should open. Yeah, so it opened. Yeah, so now it opened. 
and you press uh, that the direct file conversion you see an already uh, an already done image so no i go to desktop and i'll do the file am textures ui and for example i choose overlay full stack for example it's convert now it will convert it to a bmp file and it will say to you our text so remember very well the text it's called palette 12 bit 4 bit alpha so you remember it very well so i write it here in notepad you have to remember this text because it's very important palette 12 bit Four bit alpha one map map level. You have to remember this, and and now you can uh, now you can create an image uh, an image yourself. So, where's the image has been saved? You go here. I select, for example, uh, overlay for sag, and I save it in the desktop. And now we have the image dot bmp. It's uh, for sag in the map. Now, if you want to load your custom image, you you have to edit this image. You have to edit it and save it in the same uh, in the same image size. So it must be one hundred and eighty-eight and twenty-eight uh, and two hundred and fifty-six. It must be like this. This is the image resolution. It was. It must be like this. You don't change any pixel, and you edit your image. And uh, now you have to resave it as a DDT. So you you put the image here in the direct file conver conversion. You put. Uh, you select desktop, and you select the image of full sag. And you must save it now. You must save it now in the desktop. And you choose the same things that you have selected. So let's see here. Palette 12 bit uh, for alpha. Yeah. And now it will do the code. And we'll save it. And we'll save it as a DDT. And now we will be able to use it in your overlay. But you must remember very well the, uh, the piece of code. So write it as I told you. Uh, now it would, it takes a bit of time because it's a really complicated uh, image format. Like I really don't know why Age of Mythology uses this uh, format. But you must do this. And it takes a bunch of time. So if you if you want to use your custom image, you have to do like this, so I won't wait a lot, but it takes time. So now we will see our overlay. Or uh, no, I forgot one more thing. So if you want to do uh, the final thing for our advanced uh, tutorial, if you want to do an, uh, a, a cinematic between two levels, so an end cinematic uh, for one level, and uh, yeah, you have to copy this piece of code. Uh, it's called. For example, here it's uh, this. It's called there must be a cinematic between two brackets. So this piece of, of code 
you copy it between two levels for example yeah and you will be able to select a cinematic so you do you create a scenario only a cinematic so there is a cinematic mode on a cinematic mode off and with camera tracks and in the final trigger you put cinematic mode off and the advanced main com uh, campaign and it's a cinematic between two levels in the scenario display name you don't really need to change it because uh, there won't be a display name so you're uh, the one who will play the campaign can't see it and you don't need to change the description only you need to change the file name so the file name is the name of your uh, cinematic so you save it as a normal scenario and yeah that's it now we save and see all the changes in age of mythology for the iom ed i i told you that i will uh, put a link in the description for it don't worry so you'll be able to to edit your own image it's completely free let's see our campaign so it's in Egypt and I don't know what's going on, perhaps I put the wrong on the day. Yeah, uh, and that's it. So you saw the Egypt sticker and we are in the Northlands and here we are in Egypt. So remember to put the exactly right coordinates. If you know if you if you want uh, if you want an exact coordinates, you have just to look here, for example, I want for example in the place of the RAM. I want an image, or the place of Dragon Leaf, I want an image. So you have to remember the coordinates. And here yeah, you can do it. Or you, or you can just play with it. Add, for example, five coordinates and see where the image go. So you would be able to do it. And that's all I need to, sh uh, to show you for the uh, advanced part. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it was helpful. And if it was, be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.